Are you home alone? Didn't your mama tell you how to cook? Well, don't worry, because Uncle Fanny's here today to teach you guys something incredible. It's healthy, it's easy, and it's probably very quick. Now, you might be wondering, hey, Uncle, cake mix isn't a recipe. What are you going to teach me today? Don't you worry. You can find these three ingredients that we're going to be using today in your fridge. And if your fridge doesn't have these things, time to go outside for once. Trust me, it's super simple. All you need is tomato, butter, sandwich. Well, bread in this case, but we can just call that the sandwich part. Those three words are the title of this dish, and I'm sure you're gonna love it if you're starving away to death. Come follow me. I'll show you how to make this cool recipe that anyone can do, even a baby. Step one, get your bread out and start cutting it through the middle. You might like it thick, you might like it thin. Just know that the thicker is better, because you don't want that tomato dripping all around you. You want to be the one dripping. Mine are pretty thin, that's just how I like them. Once you're done with that, move on to the tomatoes. Just slice up the tomatoes through the middle, just how you want them. You can do chunks, but it's harder that way, because you're making a sandwich, not a wrap. Now that was just the easy part. Light up that stove top and let it run for a bit. You're gonna want to put on some butters on top. Once your pan's butter all up, it's time to start adding in the tomatoes. Put your tomato slices one by one and get them dancing with that butter. After all, it's not a butter sandwich or nothing. Set the stove to medium and see how it runs. And flip the tomato patties over once in a while. You don't need them on there too long. You might want to cook them for longer, you might want to cook them for shorter. I choose a shorter time because I like my tomatoes nice and juicy. Once you're done, turn off the stove and get your breads ready. That was the hard part. Now, just butter up your bread a little if you want some more butter, or just start putting on the tomatoes on there. You've just made your own tomato butter sandwich. If you did it right, it should shine a nice golden butter. Depending on how long you cooked it, it's gonna be real juicy. Be careful that it's not sagging into your bread too much. Don't wanna make things too wet. And here comes my favorite part. Sit right down and have yourself your nice butter treat. Damn, that's good. Mm. And that's how it's done. And there you go. You have your own tomato butter sandwich to enjoy on a night off all alone. Now remember, it's your recipe. It's your dish. You gotta make it how you want. If you didn't like this recipe, try to change it up a little. Don't like tomatoes? Maybe try throwing in an apple. I don't know. It's up to you. Cooking is all about making all those mistakes until you finally get it right. And make something that you love. Of course, you gotta be careful not to leave the oven on. Uh, there's no second time for those. But thank you so much for coming on and watching the show today. If you loved what you saw, if you have any clue what you want me to make again, let me know down below and I'll be sure that Uncle can come by and show you how to make it. Stay safe, stay full, and see you guys later.